His heart is returning. Doubtless he'll awaken very soon. Organization miscreants. They found us. But why would the nobody steal photographs? Both are nothing but data to them. The fools could never tell the difference. We are running out of time. Namine must make haste. Namine, hurry! Is it really that hard to make a beach? We'd be giving the enemy another entry point. And this? We can always buy some sea salt ice cream. <laughs> Objects from that town must be kept out of the real world. You can delete that. Was that Namine made of data? No. Namine hijacked the data herself. Look what she's done now. She's totally beyond my control. Calm down. It doesn't matter. As long as Namine accomplishes her goal, we needn't worry about what befalls Roxas. So it was you. Roxas! This man speaks nonsense. Roxas! Don't let him deceive you! Roxas! 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 Olet! His progress is astounding. So, what happened? Namine's encounter with Roxas put his heart in contact with Kairis. And that in turn affected Sora. You see? Namine. She's a wonder. She wasn't born like other nobodies. She can interfere with the hearts and memories of Sora and those aligned with him. But whose nobody is she? I could tell you. But first, perhaps you could tell me your true name. It's Ansem. <laughs> it's an honor, Ansem. Why did you show him the train? Because he missed the trip to the beach. Hmm. That's almost kind of you. No. What about you? Are the holes in your memory starting to fill in? Yes. The haze is clearing. The same thing is happening to everyone who had ties to Sora. Very soon, to them, he'd be like a good friend who's gone away for a year. I've waited and now I want to know. What is it that you want? Revenge. Revenge? Now for the finishing touches. First, we must dispose of Namine. She did a splendid job with Sora, but it's high time she disappeared. 
Roxas isn't the only one who was never meant to exist. Take care of it, Ansem. Roxas! To the mansion! The time has come. There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Diz, we're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas, nobodies like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? No further outbursts. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait! <sighs> Roxas, we will meet again. And then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you, and you may not know it's me. But we will meet again. Someday soon. I promise! Let her go! Nominate! Diz. He could feel Sora. Oh, he told you how he felt, did he? Ridiculous. And nobody cannot feel anything. If he had met Sora, things might have been different. Will it work? If we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. At last, the key blade's chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me? Or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. Was that... Was that supposed to be a joke? Cause I'm not laughing! Ugh. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs to me! Wise Ansem, I am here to seek your advice. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis, and I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, 
I'm concerned about the stability of the world. Yup. That's what worries me, too. The doors that appeared. The place the heartless seek. I fear my research may have brought this upon us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. It's been too long, my friend. Ansem the Wise, why didn't you come to me before things got so bad? Zemnas, the organization superior, is the nobody of Xehanort, my foremost apprentice. The burden was mine to bear. Is that all? I won't deny there was more. I was obsessed with thoughts of revenge. My apprentices stole everything precious to me. My research and my pride. I can't help you with revenge. I know. Riku's told me a thousand times. Where is he? He must be with his friends by now. Riku was a great help to me. I found him wandering the darkness after you and he lost track of each other. Gosh, we didn't lose each other exactly. Riku left, well, because Xehanort's Heartless was still inside his heart, troubling him. And he sure must have been suffering. But what I don't understand is why he looks like that now, when he's still Riku at heart. I am to blame. When I met Riku the first time, he still had the appearance of a boy. Probably because he had such a strong heart. I asked him to find a young man named Roxas from Organization 13 and bring him to me. When I told him it would help Sora awaken from his slumber, Riku left without a word. He fought Roxas, and I can only surmise Riku lost that fight. Riku must have realized then to fight in the realm of darkness, he would have to immerse himself in that same darkness. And when he did, you saw what became of him. When Riku brought Roxas back to me, he was introducing himself as Ansem. If that was what it took to awaken his friend, he was ready to live in darkness. Riku was the victim of my revenge. How my heart ached. I could only laugh to hide my shame. I guess it must have been after that when I saw Riku again. He said he wanted to help Sora, but he made me promise. Promise that Sora wouldn't ever find out about what happened to him while he was out in the darkness. My friend, the time has come. I must make amends to these young people.
Uh oh, they need our help. Sora and Rico are together. We have no part to play here. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Riku chose that form so he could use the power of darkness. It won't be easy. This spot should do. What's this gadget for? It's a device to reclaim Kingdom Hearts and encode it as data. Not sure I get it. I do not claim to know the outcome of this venture either. After all, hearts are unpredictable. <laughs> I'm a fool. I spent years studying the workings of the heart. Yet it seems I still haven't learned a thing. What do you mean? The process of encoding hearts is incalculable. The inhabitants of my twilight town were data created from real hearts. I was convinced that they would think and behave the way I had envisioned. But I couldn't have been more wrong. A heart is so much more than any system. I saw it when Roxas and Kyrie crossed paths. I knew, but I was too stubborn to accept it. It's always the same. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. While I was trying to bring Sora back, I had so many plans in store. But once Sora was an acting force, they fell apart. All my research amounted to nothing compared with that one boy's heart. Handsome, a machine! All the more proof that hearts cannot be contained by data. Run, my friend! It's going to self-destruct, and anything could happen. What? Your Majesty! Sora, the rest is up to you. And Roxas, I doubt you can hear me, but I am sorry. Ansem! My heart is telling me what I must do. Please allow me to do what it says. No! Riku! His heart's decided. We can't change that. Who would dare interfere with my Kingdom Hearts? And look, here you all are. How convenient for me. Ansem the Wise. You look pathetic. Have your love. I deserve as much for failing to see you for the fool you are. Students do take after their teachers. Only a fool would be your apprentice. After all, none of this would have happened without you. You are the source of all, Heartless. It was your research that inspired me to go further than you ever dared. I admit, my disregard brought chaos to more worlds than one. But what were you seeking? You erased me from the world, only to take my name and continue research better left forgotten. Is this the answer you've been looking for? All that and more. I'm carrying on what you yourself began, and I'm creating a brand new world, one heart at a time. I thought you'd praise me, but all you ever do is hold me back. I understand, though. Unlike me, you have a heart, and you're powerless to control it, consumed by the jealousy you feel toward the student who surpassed you. They are not 
foolish apprentice of a foolish man. You have surpassed nothing, only proved how little we both know. We may profess to know the heart, but its essence is beyond our reach. We're both ignorant, as oblivious as when we began. I'm afraid that any world you try to create, any world of yours, would be an empire of ignorance. That is why you and your creation are destined to fall. We've said enough. Rico, you know what to do. King Mickey, my friend, forgive me. Farewell! <laughs>